Stung by the humiliating defeats in the recent state elections, some party men have also accused the Congress party of having acquired a pro-rich image, which has alienated the party from the grassroots. These party men advocate that in the coming months the party must highlight more people-oriented development schemes, which have immediate and tangible but also visible benefits for the common man. Direct benefit in visible, demonstrable form is not seen by the voter. We invest in railways, we invest in irrigation, we invest in power. That benefit goes to poor, but it is an indirect benefit. They don't perceive it, that this is the benefit coming to us. So as I said, midday meal scheme, free midday meal for school children. Then it is in visible form, and therefore the voter will appreciate it. But there are other opinions which blame it not so much on the policies of the central government as on the media perceptions. Practically, uh, policies are pro-poor. You see the allocation of 30,000 uh, crores for the rural areas. But we could not project that. We are trying to connect villages by roads. Projection became hi-fi, multinational coming. That is coming. You will have a telephone in car, you have a telephone in train, you will have a telephone in aircraft. Now, naturally, the common man feels this government is trying to give a telephone to the aircraft passenger, not to a man who is plowing field in the village. Image should have been, gaon mein kisan hal jote jote kahi bhi baat kar paega. The fact that the Congress has decided to seriously tackle the question of its image as well as its future was evident in the two-day-long party's working committee meet. Congress working committee as well as Congress party in the parliament is thinking how to reach the masses and to explain what are the works which the Congress party has done so far and what are the things which we implement, want to implement, what are the program and policy. We want to reach them much in advance so that the people should know what the Congress party stands for. While there were attempts to apportion blame on many factors, there was need felt in some quarters that the party needs to address the crisis facing it with a well thought strategy. A group of congressmen have even suggested that in the overhauling of the government and the organization, younger and dynamic elements in the party should be given more responsibility. Younger people have to be brought up. If the party could remain strong and party could deliver the results, and that is the spirit behind involving the young people in the team. In the aftermath of the state election defeat, analysts are certain that in the coming days, the Congress party must handle various issues raised by its critics with a measure of seriousness. But whether the new direction suggested by its strategists will result in an energized party ready to face future electoral challenges more confidently is a moot point. The only thing certain is that the defeats have suddenly stirred the party out of its complacency.